Welcome back, my dear light bulbs, to another anime discussion. In this video, I'll be talking about the types of anime fans. If you're a new viewer to my channel, remember to subscribe to become part of the light bulb army. And also remember to enable notifications to never miss a video from me again. Now, the first type of anime fan I'm going to be talking about is the overhyped anime fan. This anime fan, he gets hyped, he or she gets hyped up over anything, anything that happens, like, oh, it's a fight or whatever, and it, it could be the littlest thing, like the introduction of a new arc, and they're just screaming, like, oh my gosh, this is greatness, this is amazing, this is the best thing I've ever seen, so that's the overhyped anime fan. Now, another type of anime fan we have is an intellectual anime fan. This is not an anime elitist. The intellectual type anime fan is an anime fan that looks really deep into the story. For example, let's take Tokyo Ghoul, because Tokyo Ghoul is such a great story, and you could really look deeply it has a lot of symbolism and all that stuff um but it's an anime fan that picks up on little things like what the what the meaning of flowers is what is this background that was introduced in chapter 10 and now it's back again like in chapter 100 and something like that's the type of intellectual anime fan that is and that type of anime fan he's he shares that information he's not a douche uh, about it and he's not like oh man i know everything that type of anime fan it's like okay oh I, I saw these things in this chapter or this episode or whatever and let me share it so people could pick it up as well so that's the intellectual anime fan now there's the super fanboy anime fan and this is the anime fan that doesn't see any flaws in the series he watches um or reads or whatever no flaws and the super anime fan that the super fanboy basically is we have super fanboys in every anime community be it the dragon ball community be it the naruto one piece bleach or any other type of community the one piece community where they're like the ser the series i have i like watching or reading has no flaws no flaws no flaws they overhype everything they don't see like this these anime fans are they're small in number but their numbers are starting to increase as time goes on. Like, you will have an argument with them and they will just say, Oh, my series is amazing, no flaws. And they want to explain anything about it. And if you compare their series, their favorite series to another series, and you're like, Okay, look what this series does better in terms of story or fights or whatever. They're just like, No, this is better. For example, like a Dragon Ball fan would be like, Oh, this fight in Dragon Ball is way better than everything that Hunter x Hunter produced. Like, they, that's the type of anime fans um, that is. They could be a little toxic at times, but not everybody is that. I, I, I'll i say around like 10% of any fandom um, has those type of anime fans. Now, that brings me to the elitist anime fa fans. And the elitist anime fans are uh, uh, different from the intellectuals. The elitist anime fans are those anime fans that are like... Oh, I don't watch that crappy shonen thing. I don't watch this type of series. I watch the more delicate Neon Genesis Evangelion, the cold gas. Like, like the type of anime fans that feel like they're above everybody else, either because they watch a bunch of anime or because they only watch certain animes and they don't touch the uh, regular thing everybody's watching. Which brings me to my next type of anime fan that I see is the, uh, oh, I don't watch mainstream anime fan like the one that doesn't watch any mainstream anime and they're just like oh um i just don't like mainstream anime because it's bad without checking it out or we have the uh, i don't watch mainstream anime fan but this one is the one where it's kind of worse where they start watching a series let's say naruto or something and then when it starts becoming popular they just drop it because they're like i don't like mainstream anime so that is really weird to me now Next type of anime fan is the mainstream anime fan. And this anime fan, he only he or she only watches mainstream anime, the Naruto's, the Hunter x Hunters, the One Piece, and the One Punch Man, all that stuff, and doesn't check anything else out, which is not a good thing because there's a lot of other great series, but we have those anime fans as well. Also, the shonen anime fans. These are the fans that they love the battles. The story could be horrible. They love their fights though. The story could, could lead to the fight in a um, poor way and they still are happy because all they care about is the fighting in anime, which I used to be like this a long time ago, a couple years back. But now I like when the story and fights blend in together. So that's another type of anime fan. Now. The last type of anime fan I want to talk about, which there's probably way more that I missed, but it's all good. Um, 
is the anime fan that they just dislike every popular series for some reason or another. They just don't like popular series at all. It's kind of like the anti-mainstream anime fan. And yes, I said this is the last one, but let me extend the video a little bit because I just remember some more stuff. The veteran anime fan, the, this is the anime fan that watched over 100 animes or more, aka me, because I am a veteran anime fan. I've been watching anime for a long time. And there's also the new anime fan or the noob anime fan, uh, as some people like calling it, them. And those are the anime fans that just got into anime, probably watched 10 animes, maybe max, and they're just bench watching everything they could get their hands on. And I was like this a couple years back as well, because once I discovered what anime was, I was like, hey, it's like Pokemon. You got to catch them all. But instead of that is you got to watch them all. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this short video. And if you did, what type of anime fan are you? Type that in the comment section below. Me personally right now, I am more of an intellectual slash veteran anime fan. Hope you enjoyed it and peace.